get ready to discover the underground strategies for making real money and creating a life of passion and reward in real estate. It's hardcore. It's no BS. It's Agent on Fire. I'm Casey and my daddy is a rock star. Welcome to Agent on Fire. I'm Mike Costi and the Agent on Fire. And today, you're going to learn another little tip, right? That's why you're here. You can learn how to make some real money in real estate. And I'm going to push getting listings right down your throat. I'm going to push doing, making you do things, right? Because I don't want you here. Respect me and get the hell out of here if you're not going to do things, right? Listings, tons of them are your answer to everything that you ever wanted in real estate. It's it. It's everything. I mean, it's as sincere as can be at this moment. Get freaking listings. Put your buyers aside. Start getting listings. Don't get caught up in that shit. I'm going to make it really easy for you. you at some point, you got to stop and put the brakes on and start getting the listings. I'm going to make it really easy for you. I've got a PDF cheat sheet for you. It's so consumable and easy to use. And I'm going to tell you how to get that in a few minutes. But right now, I want you to promise me by virtue of staying here and listening to this stuff that you are going to implement and use what I give you. I don't like losers. I'm not here. I've coached less. I've coached almost 30,000 people in the last few years. I've helped people to get listings. And so it's my gift to you and don't bullshit me. And then let's get on topic here because you can't bullshit me ever. You want to know why I'm the master bullshitter, the master manipulator, king of bullshit. And it is learned 100%. You see, in my infancy days in real estate, I bullshitted. I was, look, when I was becoming the world's greatest damn listing agent, I I did it by bullshit, right? I threw many hours of bullshit around. I threw a lot of shit on the wall. Some stuck, some didn't. Got in front of sellers, I bullshitted them. I got in front of buyers, I bullshitted them. I bullshitted my, I bullshitted everybody, right? I, I bullshitted around touring new listings, uh, uh, visiting like vacant, you know, new construction. Who was a busy real estate agent that held open houses. I bullshitted. Look, agents have a way of doing all the wrong things. They bullshit everybody. They spend 80% of their time working on non-dollar productive activities and totally reversing the whole 80-20 rule, right? It's magical when you use it. But if you want to be successful in real estate, what you got to grasp really darn quickly is there's a big difference in being a hustler and hustling. A hustler is somebody who fucking throws bullshit at everybody, mostly yourself. You hustle yourself into thinking that you've had a productive day, that you've worked, that you've been busy. You hustle your everybody around you into thinking you're a good, busy agent. You're probably hustling your family. Why aren't you home? Oh, shit, I was at the office working. At the office, successful agents don't stay at the office. They just don't. I had an office full of shit tons of people at one point, and, and, and I finally trimmed it down to the, the smallest little office I could with efficiency, but I don't stay there. The office is a big waste. It's a hustling. Look, there's that's a hustler. Hustling, there's people who get shit done, right? It's people who, you see their signs in yards. Their faces are on the billboards. They're being interviewed on radio and TV. They make a seriously great living by doing. Look, I teach this to all of my subscribers of my newsletter, the AOF Blaze and the course. You just do, do, do. You don't have to be a damn genius. These subscribers of mine, they're just, they're hustling and they're killing it. Right? Well, the majority are just riding the damn real estate roller coaster up and down, up and down, making a buck here and there. They sweat with anxiety, worry about where their next deal comes from. In in my time as a top agent and broker, listen, I rarely ran across a doer who couldn't outperform a genius. Look, you want me to be totally transparent with you? I always am. I've sold thousands of homes. I can outlist anybody on the planet. I have trounced people. I've been the number one Remax team agent in North Atlanta. 
Man, I've accomplished a lot of great things. I was one of the first people to get their Diamond Award, the highest commission award ever when I was with Remax. It was the greatest, it was, it was the greatest company for me at the time. It was awesome. I love those guys. I've done some great shit, but I can't figure a mortgage payment. Whew. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Why? I'm not a fucking genius. I don't need to know that shit. But what I'm good at is getting to bat more often. Why? Because I do. I do, do, do. I do things that get listing appointments and then I do things that get listings. And then I do them and I do them and I do them. So I'm really good at getting swings. The more swings you get, the more fucking home runs you're going to have. Period. End of story. Get good at getting listings. Hustle. Don't be a hustler. Don't bullshit yourself. Hustle. Look, you could... You could put me up against a brainiac all day who's hustle, who's a hustling himself and thinking he's the hottest shit in town figuring out his crap, and I'll hit grand slams all day while he's still warming up at the plate. So, look, if you want to be an all-star in your game, just go to agentonfire.com. Okay, here it is. Here is the absolute secret to getting started and completely dominating. I don't care if you've never listed a house before. If you can read a PDF... You can do this. You just read from a script and go to appointments and just do these things. They're not fucking super agent tricks. They're easy to follow little steps. So I've outlined them all for you. I've taken my best stuff. I've chiseled a hundred things plus down into seven little things that if you do them in sequence, you can list houses in 30 minutes or less and you can raise your commission. You can take what your broker tells you to charge and charge more. Rarely will a broker charge you to tell you to charge less. They'll give you a minimum. Charge more and add a transaction fee onto it. So go there now. Don't bullshit me. Don't bullshit yourself. Go there now. Agentonfire.com. Put in your little email address. Download it. Use it today. Thanks for tuning in. God, I hope you will begin doing and hustling and hustling and hustling. And tune in next time and I will hustle up something here to really help you to even elevate your success even further. Take care. Talk to you next time. This is the podcastfactory.com.